Good morning. Saturday the 26th of August 2017 and here I am still living at the back of the Dominican Basilica in Perugia, Umbria, Italy. To be or not to be, that is the question. I'll leave you to fill in the, the rest, all you Shakespearean buffs, which I am not. I should have been in the Holy Land Israel this week according to my little arrangements, which was to buy an airline ticket there and then had the sense not to go because I haven't got enough money to survive. No doubt I will go one day. One seems to make very little headway in this life. I am a Christian. I love God through Christ. Yes, this is the one thing I can be absolutely sure that I get right in my life. Each living moment of my life, I love God through Christ with all of my being. Aha! And what to do about it in this world? Well, I keep trying stuff. The principle of which is, are these films. Me speaking as an instrument of God's peace. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Prayer of St. Francis. And seemingly it gets nowhere. Well, the thought occurred to me. <laughs> it's pretty obvious, actually. The West is materially, in general, materially sufficient. It's awash with material stuff. Whereas people hurting, there's this company called the Far Eastern Broadcasting Company. They broadcast to something like 1.4 thousand million people or potentially that is the audience in China and I don't know the Philippines and probably Myanmar, Burma and so on and so on. Places where the Christian faith is repressed, it's a Christian broadcasting company, and people long to hear God's word. Whereas in the West we're awash with it and by and large people are turning to other stuff. So the obvious thought is actually it's better to be in sort of hardship and deprivation and repression and stuff because then you actually turn to God. <laughs> That's the thought. <clears throat> Just occurred to me really, but it's pretty obvious. What I'm wrestling with is that I believe God has given me this wonderful faith, rock-solid faith. I love God through Christ. I have no doubt about this. I've been through it. It's a broken marriage with a child. My son, who committed suicide at the age of nearly 19 years old, August the 23rd, Tuesday, August the 23rd, at about 5 p.m. 2011. And I've been through this. And here I am. And God has given me this gift of a rock-solid faith, and I want to share it. So, we keep on trying. At least there are people like me. There are many, many others who try in this world to, to make it a better place for Christ's coming and being within us. So, I'm just one of them. I love you, my Lord, with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, with all my 
strength. Amen.